Hi, my name is Ben Mueller, and welcome to Corporate Learning Network Presents The Future of LMS. There's been talk for years regarding the death of the LMS. After all, doesn't the functionality of an LMS sound an awful lot like a website? Both are systems where users access materials, an administrator monitors their behavior, and analytics are run on participants' actions. Similar? Certainly. But let's be clear, the LMS is not dead. First, the majority of LMSs are already web-based. LMSs are taking greater and greater advantage of online functionality, and hence becoming more and more like websites. Second, there are privacy concerns with hosting a corporate LMS on a third-party site. A safe, interactive learning environment should allow for full disclosure of ideas between trainees and administrators, without the fear that these pieces of intellectual capital, the learning and training modules, will get stolen by others, especially competitors. Third, LMSs already take on the basic content creation that common blogs facilitate. Blog posts, comments, and quizzes are all created on the LMS itself. Online content creation is already present. So, where is the LMS going from here? The LMS industry is growing. The market is expected to reach just below a $2 billion value by the end of the year. A list published by Don McIntosh, PhD, assembles a list of no less than 479 different vendors of corporate LMSs. Furthermore, a Brandon Hall Group survey indicates that 47% of companies considered replacing their LMSs in 2012. The market is there, so where is the technology headed? First, LMSs will be, and are, increasingly web-reliant and dependent upon cloud computing. Litmus, for example, requires no additional resources or IT support and is fully developed mobily. It is a cloud training platform being adopted by other cloud companies. Which brings us to our second point, increased mobile interactivity. Several skins and templates for interfaces must deliver continuous learning to employees, anywhere, at any time. Third, more content management. Not only must a LMS handle any file you throw at it, it must have robust editing and content authoring capabilities built right in, whenever possible. Fourth, further open sourcing. The easier it is to customize and update a LMS, the less money a company spends replacing infrastructure to remain up to date on new technologies. This keeps customers out of the 47% seeking replacement. Fifth, more social learning and thus blended learning. Like all apps, further user connectedness and interactivity, perhaps with well-established social networks, will allow for more frequent learning in more forms and in more places. Look no further than Wiz Tango for a social network spin on instructor-led learning. In the world of LMS, Topics is already branded as a social LMS. And there you have it where LMSs are going and what to watch for. Thanks for watching.